Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am here to give you an overview of the haul that I did last night. Today is Thursday, April 6th. I hope you guys are all doing well. Um, I'm doing pretty good. I gotta squeeze this in. I got work to juggle and all that stuff, but I did want to share with you how amazing this turned out. I know a lot of you guys are probably already done your shopping or if you're preparing for your shopping, I'm hoping this uh, gives you some ideas of how you can kind of work it in. So yeah, I was sitting there after work and I go, I need to get to Rite Aid. There's just so many good deals and I was like, I got to come up with something. So I just, what I did is I looked at my bonus cash challenge to see what I had to work with. Um, I looked at what I really wanted to pick up and these were the products. I ended up doing a PNG deal and a degree deal and then I threw in some Pure Zero and some Colgate. So I decided to separate it like this at first to let you know the different promotional deals that I did so it's not all mumble jumbled. Uh, the PNG deal is spend 30 get 10. You can do that twice so I spend over 60 to get 20. There's also a PNG uh, rebate over on pggoodeveryday.com. You just submit your receipt with the UPC codes for all the items and you'll end up getting a $15 Visa card in which I did this two weeks ago over around March 15th, a little over two weeks ago. I got my Visa card a couple of days ago. So it does come in the mail. It'll be here in about two to three weeks after I submit for this. It should be here in about two to three weeks if it's on the same time frame as my previous uh, rebate haul that I did. So I did that and then I also discovered I had a Tide and bon a Bounty bonus cash challenge. I mean, I knew I had it on there, but I had to go on there to double check on which one I haven't already done. So this was a card that I didn't have anything tracking for or anything. So I went on ahead and threw in enough to complete the Tide bonus cash challenge and then I have the Bounty. I have some tracking. I only need $3 to complete that one to get the full amount. But I did reach the first tier, so I'll for sure get two. So I'm only factoring in the first tier that I did complete, which was a $2 back on that. With the bonus cash challenge, we will be seeing all of that bonus cash at the beginning of May. They say by, by May 5th, but they've been struggling to get it out by that time. It's been more like 7th through the 9th, all of that factored in. With the bonus cash back and the rebates and everything, all of it ends up being a money maker. So that's the great thing about this whole thing. All of this is free, plus a money maker, easy to do. Uh, you just really need to see if you have the bonus cash challenges, which a lot of accounts do have something PNG related. So just check to see what you have, and then that, that's how you can work it in to get the max savings. If you don't have any bonus cash challenges, you can still get these for a really great price. You're going to end up getting over $60 worth of products for 55 minus less than $10. Uh, it's crazy. Yeah, because you're going to use the um, spend the booster, spend 50 and get 10. And you can break that up into two transactions like I did in order to get that spend 50, get 10 twice. Uh, that's how I worked it in for this one. So if you want to consider doing that, I would say do two transac transactions. And then any purchase-based coupons that you have, that's what you want to use too. So if you have any Catalinas or anything like that, or the 5 off of 25, if you want to use that, I shared it over on my community tab. Uh, please go back to my community tab, scroll all the way down, you'll see it. That scanned fine for me and worked. I did use it on one, the first transaction, and then on the second one, I had a nine off of 45, so I used that one. Uh, yeah, so just some ideas. Hopefully you're able to put something together because I would love for you guys to get these deals too. Um, this is not just for me, these are for you too. So uh, yeah, so, and then the degree deal, it is spend 25 get $5 back, I mean $10 back, and it looks like it's going to be a monthly deal. For I'm pretty confident it is. It is a limit of four. There are coupons hanging over by the degree in my store, and it's a dollar off of these ones. 
It says a dollar off of any Dove, Dove Ultimate, Dove Men Plus Care, Degree, Degree Men, or Suave Dry Spray Antiperspirant product. So it has to be the dry spray. I thought maybe when I looked at it, I was like, hmm, maybe it's any degree, but um, I just stuck with using two because it says dry spray, so I just didn't want to risk it. So I only used two and then the other two, I, the unlimited, I didn't have any coupons for. But the reason why I did this deal is I saw Miss Empty Nester. She mentioned um, Shopkick. So Sh Shopkick has a promotional kicks going on right now for the degree. Now I haven't really messed with Shopkick as much as I used to in the beginning. Just because they didn't have a whole lot going on for Rite Aid. It's more for like if you're at Walmart. But I think... <laughs> They're trying to get, you know, Rite Aid in the mix a little bit more. So she did share that she just went into the store and she started scanning all the items that were available for the um, scan kicks. And those were $80 a scan. So I was able to do that five to six times. I'll put a picture on the screen here. Five to six times to get 80 kicks. Now, 250 kicks is equivalent to $1. And then you end up getting that back in a gift card, almost like Fetch. So if you're not familiar with Shopkick, I have a referral link in the description if you want to start out there. Because just going in and scanning alone will get you a little over a dollar, uh, maybe two. So yeah, it's worth it just to do that. And then if you sign up, you get a bonus. So you get like 500 kicks, so equivalent to $2 or so. Uh, so that's worth doing. And then at, for, for purchasing them... I did get a certain amount of kicks, a little over a thousand. So all together, it ended up being over six dollars. It was six dollars and twenty-four cents worth of kicks just from scanning and buying these products. So amazing deal! Even if you don't have the coupons, it's really great. And then Ibotta has a dollar back on the sprays, so I was able to submit for that, and that worked out great. So. Spend 25, my total was 26 something, 26.66 with these products alone. And then I used the $2 coupons and then submitted for Ibotta and then got the $10 back for spending 25. Uh, the shop kicks was $6.24. So just a lot of stacking deals on that and it worked out nicely. So thank you so much, Miss Empty Nester, for sharing that. I'm definitely going to take advantage of Shopkick more often. And hopefully the more we do it, then the more they'll put promotions out that we could take advantage of. So that was great. And the Pure Zero, it's buy one, get one 50% off. And when you buy um, two, there's a $7 off of two digital coupon. So making it just three forty-eight for two of them. So I worked that into the transaction. I'm going to show you my receipts in, at the end so you can see everything. I just wanted to kind of break it down separately. So yeah, because it could be a lot. And then the Colgate is um, buy two for $8. They're on sale. There's a four off of two digital coupon. And then you get $3 back when you buy two. A limit of two. Um, I think I went over everything. So I'll go ahead and show you my receipt. Here's everything I picked up on the first transaction. I picked up the Tide Pods, and it has 15% more on this uh, particular container. Uh, so 25 packs, which is awesome. I just really have to remind my son that it's a Tide Pod that is very powerful, and you only need one. He thinks for some reason you need two, and it drives me nuts because he'll throw two in there with a small load and I'm going no <laughs> and I have to remind them just because I coupon for this stuff we still have to be conservative you know what I mean <laughs> yeah he's 14 so I guess I better be glad he's just doing his own laundry I don't have to do any of their laundry <laughs> I yeah I stopped that around seven or eight years old but anyway that was just a side note and the Degree, this is a 92 ounce, so I picked that up. I had digital coupons for both three and three. And then, like I told you about the degree, so I'll just go ahead and let you see how it all broke down. 
the Tide, the other Tide, the $3 off coupon. So only $9.99 is going to track towards that PNG rebate because it is what you paid after coupons. Now the full $12.99 will track towards the spend 30 get 10 and your bonus cash challenges. The full $12.99 will track towards that. The degree is buy one get one 50% off. So one rang up for $9.99 on the unlimited and the other one was $4.99. And then the dry sprays were $7.79. So one was $7.79 and the other one was $3.89. Here's the five off of 25 that I used. That one scanned fine and went on through. The dollar off tear pads, I was about to say hang tags, tear pads. Those uh, came off fine. I'm wondering if I would have tried the two on these, if it would have worked or not. I don't know, but that would have been an extra $2 savings if it did. And then with tax, everything came out to $43.33, pretty steep there. So I got $20 back, $10 for the um, barcode of the booster. I'm trying to think which one I used. Was it the web? I think I used web on this one. And I got the $10 back for spending $50. And then $10 back for the degree. I do want to say the coupons do not affect your spend 50 amount on these booster coupons whenever you're earning bonus cash back it does not affect it um, it's only when you're taking money off so five off of 25 then your threshold then your digital coupons will affect that and or any Rite Aid coupons uh, that you may have so like if you have a four off of two L'Oreal Rite Aid coupon and you know they're a Rite Aid because it'll say RA on the on the coupon and those are normally found in the ad. Or if you have any of those home mailers and they're like a dollar off of Huggies and those will affect that as well. Just to let you know. And then the points earned is 526. So that's equivalent to a little over a dollar once converted. And down here, oh, it was the website. Look at my memory trying to do me right. And I had tracking towards the degree, so $1.66 tracking. Axe is included in that. I don't have any of these lovely fetch axe deals that are going on or the coupon, so I didn't do that. But if you do, go for that. If you still have the rebates available, all the good stuff. I mean, it's just amazing right now for Axe. I don't know if they're still going to be available though. The Procter & Gamble, so I, I only got to $25.98 with these two products, which I knew was, I wasn't going to get the $10 back on this transaction. I was going to put it all on this one. I got the $6.24 back from Shopkick, the $2 back on Ibotta, and $5.30 from my bonus cash challenge for degree. I did forget to mention that earlier, but I did have a bonus cash challenge for... A certain, spend a certain amount, which I did get over. I think it was $21. I'll pop it up on the screen. And then I earn $5.30 back. So let me do the math on this particular receipt. $9.79 for all of this in the end after bonus cash back and the bonus cash challenges. Ibotta and Shopkick. And I did get this to print off. So these are still printing. I'm thinking they're going to print all the rest of this week. What I'm noticing is that they're printing a lot in the beginning of the month um, and then sporadically through the month, but more so at the beginning of the month. And then I did see in the telegram, cut a telegram group uh, that they said those Catalinas don't expire until the end of the month. So... I guess it goes off the month. I don't know. All I know is that a lot of times if I use it past expiration date, it works. So maybe I was using them at the beginning of the month, like the ones that expired at the beginning of the month, I was using them throughout the month thinking, oh, they're just lasting weeks after the expiration date. But then there was times it would be a week after the expiration date and it wouldn't work. So maybe I was using them at the end of them when they expired at the end of the month and they were already you know too close to expiration so 
Um, I don't know. That's interesting to know. But if that is the case, then we'll, we'll, we'll see if that is the case. But that's what I'm hearing. Um, yeah. But anyways, the other transaction here was the rest that I needed to get for the PNG deal to complete it twice. So I knew I, I needed about $34.02. So I went on ahead and picked up all of the PNG items I needed, the bounty, the tide, and the always. You can get other items. I just knew I needed to get more restocked on the pads and stuff. So that's what I went with. There was no coupons, but there is a dollar rebate back on Ibotta for each one, which is a limit of one. So I went with that. All right, so Bounty is a whopping $15.99. That's quite high, but there's a 25 cent coupon. So that makes it better, right? And then the Tide is $12.99. The Always, uh, buy one, get one 50% uh, off on that. And then the Colgate, I told you about that. There's that $4 off coupon. I used a nine off of 45 that I had already. So I used that. And then, oh wait, no, I think I turned around and used the nine off of 45 that they gave me. That's correct. I used the nine off of 45 that they gave me from the previous transaction. Um, there's the Pure Zero. My total was $39.79. I got back $33, 10 for the circular barcode. I used the in-ad uh, one this time on this because this is all in the same account. And then the 10 from the PNG twice. So that gave me the 30 and then the three from the Colgate. I got a little over a, do a dollar on the points. Once converted, so I did do the math. It was total of $2.14 back on both receipts. Um, oh, that's what I forgot to count when I did my math. So take off a dollar from that nine. So eight seventy something after that. Um, I'll do that in my final number. So, and down here just shows you the Colgate, the circular barcode and all the tracking that I have. So, I can't do the Procter and Gamble again. That's the limit, but it's saying that I have tracking. I really don't have tracking for anything. And there's the two other 10 and 10, and then 750 from the bonus cash challenge on the Tide, and then two from the bonus cash challenge from the Bounty. And uh, the, I forgot to write on here, $2 back from Ibotta. So let me go ahead and do the math. Turns out to be free plus a $4.71 moneymaker. Now, let me go ahead and combine everything together with the $15 back with PNG. And what I didn't count again is my rewards points on that one. So, $5.71 moneymaker with the rewards points, $8.79 with the rewards points. So let me combine those together with the rebate back from PNG. It ends up being an eleven dollar and ninety two cent money maker. Oh my gosh! And that is with tax. I'm including the tax and everything. Eleven dollars and ninety two cent money maker for all of this, you guys. Rite Aid is incredible. So I'm hoping that you guys get out and really try this. If you have not done right a before if you're new here i did a poll and a lot of you are just starting out so when i do explain these deals i have you in mind so that you can do this i'm really trying to like help you guys start saving money so first of all hats off to you for first you know being here and wanting to learn how to coupon second off go ahead and try it now i tell everybody if it goes wrong or not as planned, everything is fixable. You can return the items. You can make it work the way you need to make it work. But get out there and try it, especially now that we are in April. You can get some of your bonus cash challenges done, and you'll be able to see the bonus cash and use it um, in a few weeks, four weeks from now. may seem far, but let me tell you, the days and time goes by so quick. But yeah, guys, I just wanted to encourage you. 
to get out there if you haven't already. But those of you who have, you guys know how awesome of a deal PNG is right now, especially with the rebates and the bonus cash challenges. Rite Aid really did give a lot of accounts some bonus cash challenges, but even without it, can you imagine getting this free? Wouldn't that be enough to, to get out there and run? So not trying to convince you, just trying to inspire you. So yeah, guys, that's all I wanted to share. Uh, I do plan to go back to Rite Aid. I just can't stop going <laughs> uh, because this whole month I feel like is going to be a really great month. But um, I'm going to try to get back in there and see what else I can get. If I do, I will share a video. But if not, in the meantime, if you want to get on to preparing for next week, I will be doing a preview video for the ad for next week and I'll give you guys some deal ideas. You can join me on my live. I'm going to go 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time today, April 6th. And you can watch the replay if you don't catch the live. So you can go over and prepare for next week if you're not able to do this week. So, yeah. And I did um, update the monthly deal list for a guide to help you have it all in one place. So if you want to check that out, the link is in the description and it's in my link tree. And everything's updated. But as always, if you see anything that needs to be added or um, corrected, if there's any typos, please let me know. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and I will catch you on the next one. Bye. Oh, before I go, I did get these to print one of them, the 9 off of 45 printed on my second transaction, and then the 3 off of 15 printed on, I bought one of those clearance cereals again. I did it three times and only one printed out of the three times. So there are printing, it's just gonna, it's gonna vary, but maybe you can try i would suggest picking up some clearance items and seeing if you can get them to print as far as clearance goes i still don't have any of the goodies i'll pop a picture up of what my day logic section looks like yeah it's pretty sad so you're not alone if you can't find it but hey maybe it'll come around we'll, our side of things will hit the jackpot too <laughs> all right guys talk to you later